do is show you guys <clears throat> how to uh, how to solve for my variable b in this in this problem. Um, the first thing I do when I want to solve for a variable and I see there's a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo up there, first thing I want to do is I want to look to simplify it. So a couple ways you can simplify is one, you can look to see if you can factor any common factors out. Um, you can also see if you can get rid of fractions by uh, multiplying by everything by the denominator. And also, um, let's see, and also you can use your distributive property. So when I look at this problem, what I notice is um, I can use distributive property by multiplying by negative 7 times 2b and the negative 7 times negative 4. I can take this 5, multiply it by negative 2b, and the 5 times the 6. So I'm just going to write this out just so I make sure that everybody understands what I'm multiplying by. So I'm multiplying the negative 7 times both of those terms, and I'm multiplying the 5 times both of those terms. When I get this, I get negative 14 b plus a negative, 20, negative 7 times negative 4 is a positive 28 equals a negative 10 b plus 30. Now here I'm at the point where I want to solve for a variable. And I have a variable on the left side and I have a variable on the right side. So what I'm going to want to do is I need to get the variable either on the left side or the right side. Now my rule of thumb is I always like to solve the variable on the left side. I always like to solve it on the left side unless when solving on the left side is going to produce a negative variable. So let me go and kind of explain that. So if I want to solve for this left side, that means I need to get rid of the variable on the right side. Well, I, since I have a negative 10b, to get rid of that, if I add 10b, I'll cancel out the 0. And if I add 10b to the other side, this gives me a negative 4b. Well, that's negative on the left side, and I don't want that. So I'm not going to subtract or add 10b on both sides. What I'd rather do is if I get rid of the variable on the left side by adding a 14b, those will cancel out with each other. Now what I obtain is 28 equals 4b plus 30. So now my variable is positive and it's on the right side, which is fine because at the end we can just switch it. So the next thing we do is we want to subtract the 30, undo my addition and subtraction. I get a negative 2 equals 4b. And then I'll have to divide, I keep on doing that, divide by 4. And so I get a negative 1 half is equal to b. And like I said, right at the end, you can easily just write 4, b equals a negative 1 half. And that is how you solve a problem when you have a variable on both sides with distributive property.